Mikos versus HC Kid, MJ in the house. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> it's a match of the century right here. Oh, let's go. To, to friends, to mortal enemies, to what else can you say? <laughs> That's right. Germany versus Netherlands. It's like the World Cup all over again. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day, dude. Back, Back in, in the, the days, day. mortal enemies. Yeah, when Iron Robin was in form, yeah, this was the match to be, to mm -hmm. be seen. I mean, Iron Robin did well at Bayern München as well, bro. Mm -hmm. Really helped him out a lot. Already. Yeah, he's retired. He's old. He went bald when he was 16. Man's <laughs> <laughs> going bald right now. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. Palacio, Mikos, the red player, straight out of, the, out of the Netherlands, spawning top left as Iraq. And we have Gerbor, HC Kid, Sander from Germany, the yellow player, also going in as Iraq. And we are on Arabian Oasis. It's an immediate difference in the build here. Mm hmm. Sander's going for the. Warfighter in the back and Mikos's build is actually one that I've seen before. So his second ref will either go behind his current Warfighter or in front of it. It does go in front. Okay. It's a bit a long distance, but it's uh, equidistant to the gems as well. So it's Perfect. kind of a middle point there between both. I can't say I've seen this build a lot though. True, I cannot say true. that. This build is really weird for. Uh, well, I haven't, I haven't seen him too often. Drone goes down. One shot. Are we on the right game mode? Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> I've made a mistake once already today, MJ. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> One of AC Kid's uh, minor gets drone, but he has the service depot already pre-built. He was pre-building it. Hmm. Five I minors. Wonder from from bottom right where Sanders' service depot is, whether you can build up that cliff with barracks. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if you can. Or maybe that rock. Yeah, that rock might be ruining it. You know, he is gonna long distance mine these gems, which is uh, it's okay. It's not bad. Mikos is on seven miners at the moment, and HC can on eight and switching over to rhinos. HC can has three mine uh, three rhinos on the field. But one of them gets droned. Mika's on double war. Is that I'm sorry. Because he hasn't touched the back of his oil yet. I wonder if he's saving it for later. I think it's just only going to get to it. Yeah. Put the second war factory up there for that. To get to it. He isn't there yet. Third World Factory for Mikos as well. Predictions are still open, boys, if you want to get your votes in. Let's take a look at the predictions again. It's 57% on HC Kid, 43% on Mikos. Hmm. Let's get around the center here. Mikos pulling ahead a in tank numbers here. No, I'm thinking of dogs, though. Yeah, and I'm on a dogs as well. He's not called the dog for nothing here. Yeah? So little dogs compared to the number of rhinos that he has. Mm. <laughs> uh, Ludak, hit, hit me up on Discord, bro. I'll show you how to do it. And Miko sneaking in a miner from the war factory there. Mm. Pulling out a woody. Pulling out a woody. But that's a good micro from them. So sending to minus straight away from Mikos up the top left before the refining gets in, but it's true, like true. The middle. Yeah, this this is the thing for Urban Oasis, right? If you're if you're gonna if you're gonna commit to middle, you do have a lot of alleyways that can go. You can go south. I'm talking from Mikos' perspective. You can go south, I can continue on in your journey, but the defending player has to go all the way around and it's so annoying for them yeah. to uh, for yeah. the splits especially the bottom side i mean the bottom side uh oh and the split from uh hc kit to the top left there does mika mm -hmm. see it yeah he sees it 
Selects another War Factory for primary building. Five War Factories for Mikos. Five for a secret and Mikos is going in at the bottom, boys. Gets one Miner. And pulls out. Oh, Look at them. That's a little bit too much of a commitment there from Mikos. Sanders is going to make him pay for it. Oh, look at this. But the tank control is not there from Sander. His tanks are all over the place, but Mikos is quick to reply to it. Sander's going to chase him down all the way. No more fodder for any one of them. There's the reinforcements coming for Mikos. Oh, this is yeah. looking good for AC kid, though. Absolutely. And Mikos needs to get the forward racked and some fodder on the way through. Oh, Sanders, be careful with that cliff. He's sending a split oh, at the top are... as well. Mikos preoccupied at the bottom. But that split is going into the top, going for the miners as well. That could be three miners going right there. Sander, good tank control around that clear, but it's going to retreat around the bottom, but along the top though, that's damage being done for sure. It's because over for me because... Yeah. Gold the top. And Sander should be going in with the bottom rhinos right now. It's oh, going back. Yeah. A lot that's of miners went down good. there and... Sander's still winning at the top. Mikos' tanks are all over the place. Don't give him any lead though. Mikos sells MCV. <coughs> oh, Eight man, the Sender, if, if Sender pulled, pulled forward when Mikos was going along the top, they could have gotten a lot more damage out. Yeah. He pulled back with those tanks at the bottom. I don't know why. But I think the damage has already been done here. Sander took out like three, four miners to go along with that push and forcing Miko to sell his MCV. Yeah. So Sander can just chill out now and wait for Miko to go broke. That is true. Sander is still expanding at the top there. Does Miko have enough to make a push here? I mean, when you're, when you're going up against an opponent under tank, you need to split and sort of thin out the numbers, but he's like twice as much out tanks. Mm -hmm, this correct. is not looking good for him. Sander making a move here. Yep, destroy. Yep, this is GG. So it turns out the dog was hungry and kind of over ate here. GG called. <laughs> and Sander oh, takes oh. game one. Divide and conquer. Whose legs will be divided and conquered here, do you think? Oh! <laughs> spread them wide, boys! Let's go! <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I, I... We've, been, we've been away for too long. <laughs> I think... I don't know, but I think Mikos is really pro on this map. So I will, I will give this game to Mikos and... So it will be 1-1 one, one, and then it will be a much better series as well. Mm -hmm. But you can't underestimate Sander as well. Sander is a very good Soviet player. So she's like she's like a basic textbook player that does everything well. There's nothing I, I don't I don't mean it's a bad way, but there's nothing like uh like uh his there's nothing like he's known for. Mm -hmm. But he's just a really good textbook Soviet player that makes good decisions. Correct, correct. Like and someone like Mikos who's known for selling MCV and making a lot of fodder. True. Now I've seen Sander play against Max and those were really good games. I know Max is a wonderful Soviet player as well, you know. Mm -hmm. And those those matches were really good. The grudge match between them, uh, great plays. Great matches. Oh, if we if we got Prime Max back in the day when he mm. was still very, very active, would have been such a good one. Because Max, yeah. was, uh, Max was a go-to Soviet player in a 2v2 especially. Mm -hmm. was, ah, his 2v2 was, really was also good, bro. It, it, or it is still good. Mm -hmm. I've seen him play 2v2s as well. I'm like, uh... And... Oh! Oh, Sanders Miner gets thrown there. Try to turn around. Yeah, just too a late. split second too late. Oh, Mikos, good defense at top right. Shot away the drone. So Sander will save this miner on one tick of health. That's something different though. Mikos is not building forward. He built around the back first. We've seen that versus Tim as well. When he spawned bottom left, he places his um, orf 
refinery really in a weird place and then st- mm-hmm. I think Mikos is going to sell eventually because he's not stretching to the next patch of ore near the center either yeah usually that indicates that he's either going to move his MCV or is he going to sell yeah because this power plant placement there is just useless right I mean you're not stretching mm-hmm. towards anything I think he might m- move his MCV towards the middle jam pad, the middle all patch and then Two more war factories and then sell off. Yeah. Well, Mika sells always after third war factory, right? Yeah, third or four. No, third if, or four. If, if, if he's feeling a bit spicy, I'll maybe five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> so it's CK on six miners, double war factory. Mikos is on three war factories at the moment, six miners as well. Ludo saying Mikos loves his medium AI builds. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Sells them CV after the service depot. He, he needs a backup plan of some sort, so service depot first, I guess. Mm-hmm. And meanwhile, Sanders on three war factories did not sell his MCV. Well, one thing for sure, though, Sanders should be seeing that MCV sell. Yeah. And he's prepping for it with that Ford Rex on the radar, I think. There you go. Sentry guns out. That was going in by themselves. Oh, desolator. Ah, didn't oh, deploy. Didn't <laughs> deploy and the radar goes down. That's expensive. What? Mika mm. sold? <laughs> 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 I think Mika's time that uh, that push to a perfection there with the dog water and then he goes on the left side and send the control. Conga line. Conga, 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 yeah. conga, oh. conga, 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 Oh no, Sander, not Sander, so it's going to be as well with that engineer moving forward, but he has so little tanks now, no sentry considered to defend against this push. He does have a good number of fodder. Come up with drones. He does have the go to keep coming with reinforcements here. Oh boy. Oh boy, one mistake might have cost it. Sand in this entire game here. But he can still hold on. Mikos he can still hold on, him. yep. Sander holding on oh, here. No. Bring that rhino with you, boy. Come on, come on. Don't leave that rhino alone. He's gonna get. <laughs> there you go, there we go. Oh, man, yeah, Sander's gonna repair his tanks as well. Sells the third war factory there. There was a rhino stuck in it as well, apparently. <laughs> you know that shit annoys me it shouldn't shouldn't really annoy me but it shouldn't sell it but sometimes i sell it just to get a rhino out yeah true does miko have enough here the father is uh sander's own miko's goes in either way doesn't oh, look good for miko's no. though no it doesn't oh, look no. good and sander pulling ahead here uh, Mika's still on three war factories. Sander is on two, but he has the numbers. <laughs> and I gave off who sells their MTV first. Yeah. It's like it's pretty back and forth. Yeah, Mika sells his third war factory as well. It's pretty tight here. I mean, they, they both made mistakes in tank control. Excuse me. I think Sander might pull ahead here. He has a veteran tank being repaired at the moment as well. And Mikos has started long distance mining as well. He's gonna bring one miner over. Oh, Sander just threw away his father, that corny father. So looking good, he has to pull in his miners now as father if he can. Looks like he is, but he's in the wrong position. Is he going to leave some of them at least one minor to mine? No, he sells his refinery, so this is all in. This is all in for Sander. And Mika's going to get one last dump, or maybe not. That, that miner is full of gems. Oh, boy. That miner might be crucial here. Yeah. He might get maybe one or two rhinos for him to sort of pull the edge over. Goes. And some smiter as well. The fodder is there. Is that a position from the rhinos? 
So I'm just gonna go in, but Miko spools back as well. Oh no, the miner father is dying slowly without anything to go behind it. Sanders still falling forward, but Miko stands proud and tall. Yeah. Sanders GG. Oh no. On the way of Desert Island. Most of the games so far has been like 3 1 or 3 0. There's rarely any 3 2 games actually. We started out good. Lato versus Root uh, went 3 1. Then we had Lato versus Collective, which went 3 2. Then we have Collective versus Root, which went 3 1. But the Lato versus Collective one took very long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but most of them are three ones. The three two is not a title one that we don't really see. No, I, I only had one today. Latter the first collective three two. Mm, yeah, I don't think I had either from my session. Mm. No, you just had the ass whooping from uh, Woody the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> three, zero, three, zero, three, zero, three zero three zero three zero three zero. Yeah, what the fuck? Fucking hell, man. <laughs> but a match that I would want to see. Because he hasn't played Lato for your stream yet, right? Nope. Well, that's a match I want to see. Lato versus Woody. That's going to be really close. Or Marco yeah. versus Woody. I mean, Collective versus uh, versus Lato was a close match as well. Yeah, and those are still up to come, yeah? Yeah, I think he in, in QM, Lato has been like... He went allied and then went 7-4 up against Woody, I think, if I remember Ooh. correctly. But, uh, yeah, I've been getting messages from Latov and from Pav, like, oh, call Woody, call Woody, call Woody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. QM. So many times. Yeah, but because Latov has a different style of playing as well, you know? It's, like, mm -hmm. quite different from the other players. He brings it's... a lot of the old-school meta in, in the modern-day mm -hmm. modern uh, playing. Yeah, I believe so, too. Oh, <laughs> bottom right Miko just tries to go in with that drone and then immediately a sentry guy comes up and he's like hell no <laughs> yeah there's a drone right there from uh, HC kid as well just waiting <laughs> still can get, can't get rid of this cold bro and one miner gets droned from HC kid Miko's able to sneak one in there Dude, if I don't have this mute button right now, I would have, I would have snorted and coughed so many times on stream. Oh man. <laughs> it's really going around. Okay, so oh. the service devote being built, so Sander pulls away with his uh, drone as well. So that scared him off as well. Four rhinos on the field for Mika's. Sander still on two. Five on the field for Mikos. Mikos with a lot of rhinos. It's gonna get a miner droned. It's a long way for that miner to get to the service depot, but it, it will make it. Well, wait, where's it He's going? He's making a new one. He's making, He's making a new, a new one, one yeah. Yeah. I don't think yeah. he wants to risk it because they're gonna go on ore as well. Yeah, yeah. Sells the other service depot and puts in a new one. Mikos on double war while. Sandra is also on double war at the moment. Cause making his first move here. Not as much dog water as I anticipated. <clears throat> I've yet to see a game where me calls actually builds like 10 million dogs. I would love to see that one day. <laughs> I've seen Woody do it. Woody do it. Yeah, Woody does it a lot also, yeah. Uh oh, engagement here. Miko's gonna go th right through the middle here. Sentry is not gonna be enough. <coughs> and there has to be careful that not to be caught out with a bad tank control, but he does reconcile. And what about the the aggressor again? But look at this four factories for Miko's already. I don't think he's gonna sell just yet. Well, one thing he's doing for sure is just ripping Sander apart here. Left, right, left, right. Where am I going? 
So it's waiting for a mistake from Sander and waiting for the perfect opportunity to go in. But when would that opportunity be? The fact that he's completely on Sander's doorstep as well that prevents Sander from expanding towards mid. Yeah. Or from expanding further up, up north, which is where he is going to be right now. So he Mikos has a... Outproducing as well. Mikos has four war factory versus three of yeah. Sander. And Sander is stuck in the corner there. He's mining dirt. Well, uh, on the right side here is mining dirt. At the bottom, he still has some ore left. This will be a perfect opportunity for Mikos to move to mid as well. Mikos still on four. Off. Mikos is gonna give Sander some breathing room here, boys. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this. After being on the aggressor for so long, an aggressive for so long, he just sort of puts off the, put the gas bottle down a little bit. Yeah, Sander able to put a ore refinery now top right there. It's gonna help us help help out his eco very much. I mean, if Miko stayed around, he wasn't able to do that. Meanwhile, Mika sold. Oh. So he is uh, on four war factories. Sander can just spam out war factories after war factories once he gets his eco going. <laughs> really weird decision decision making here, boys. Mm -hmm. I would assume that Mika will actually like the way he's moving right now. Uh, up down, up down will be on the other side. Of the map, but it is looking to be a huge tank fight here. Yeah, so he's bringing in some corners as well, even more dog fodder on the way. It's primary target auto minus out of the on the top right hand side. That's why it's moving towards it now. But in terms of tank numbers, they're pretty even. He Sander does have the defender's advantage. He does have sentry guns ready as well. So Mikos yeah, but... has to be careful here. He can't overcommit again. He's pumping out tanks by the second as well. Oh, this is gonna be huge. Tell what, right now Sander can just pump a couple down the bottom and then split as well. But it's huge fight on top. The core needs to be in the fight as well, Mikos. But he's still being a little bit hesitant here. Out comes the radar as well. Splits anywhere at all. No splits. Oh, there you go. Along the top, Mikos is splitting. Oh, oh there we go. Oof. That's bad. That's bad. Sander was a bit late to reply to that split. Now Mikos can go bottom now. Sander has to pull back his minus around the bottom. Can Mikos do some damage? He's probably going to hit the power and make him a little power. But at the top, units are still being prepped here. Sander's going to win at the top. If he can hold at the bottom, he's going to pull ahead of uh, Mikos here. Mm -hmm. And one thing he can do is he can make his own split along the top here. Yeah, he can, he can go on. Yep, he's going to push on forward. And Miko's gonna retreat with everything. Oh, not enough though. <clears throat> oh, beware of your tank control up there, Sander. It's a game of back and forth here. Yeah. This is really a game of chess. Nobody making the winning move yet. Mikos is stuck on four war factions. He's, he needs to start long distance mining soon. So if he really wants to make something happen, oh, I don't know if he has enough MJ. Yeah, I think this is what Sanders' plan is. Is he gonna wait till Mikos goes totally broke? Yeah. And then eventually he'll outproduce and uh, have more this on him. But this is the perfect opportunity. The Mikos is taking the opportunity. It's gonna go in around the bottom. The tank control is not there. Sander has to be careful. The Mikos has a lot more tanks on that higher upper bridge. But the they're stuck. Level. They're oh, stuck, dude. MJ. Mikos has all his tanks there, but the tanks from Sander are stuck on that cliff. No, Sander. No. no oh no. no. 
Miko's wins because of this cliff, bro. Unbelievable. Oh, and he absolutely knew it as well. Absolutely perfect there. Sander just a little bit of tunnel vision. Or at least oh seeing my that. god. He got a lot of my units on top of the cliff. Let's take a look at it. Maybe I have it in the instant replay. Let's let's take a look. Ah! No, Sander, no. Nah, it's too late. Oh no! Mikos wins because of this cliff, bro. Unbelievable. Oh, and he absolutely knew it as well. That absolutely cliff really did some damage there. Sander just a little bit of tunnel vision. Or at least. Uh. <laughs> I believe we see we saw Lat of Gurk versus HC kit on this map. So it's really an HC map. Yeah, he loves maps like Yellowstone and Urban Marine. True, true. Seen talk about it as well. Yeah, Miko's at the top, the red player is our wreck. We have HC kit, the yellow player at the bottom. This map is really interesting. Well, one thing Snark told me that you can capture that tech oil service depot or whatever it's called, tech outpost, and uh, use that to repair your miner if it gets droned or anything. That's a cheap way of getting it. Oh, true, true. I haven't even thought of it. It's <laughs> <laughs> a free service depot, yeah. That's free service depot right there, boys. So slightly, slightly one second lead for. Uh, HC kit there. I've noticed it a lot that Mikos is uh, kind of a split second slow on the deployment of his MCV. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing that's a lot of MCV movement here on this map. Yeah, you can so move much here. of a base walk. Mm -mm. I, it's difficult to base walk to the next patch of gems there aren't even yeah. tech buildings in the neighborhood to capture either so we're gonna see some mcv moves for sure yeah here's a drone but that's uh mikos's drone he's gonna move his mcv three miners on that small jam pack okay and another miner for mikos Okay, yellow player is HC kit. I'm sorry about that. HC moving his MCV. Oh dear, what was that though? Drone control. Well, we're... <laughs> On the top, the Santa just walks straight into that drone. Oh. Into that miner. He just gonna move his MCV as well after five miners. HC kit is on four miners and making a move here towards the left. <coughs> I see where Sanchez is going here on the left and I don't like it. Mm -mm. Mikos takes the high ground. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's trying to go for those miners, but Miko is so close. This map should be called Anti-Drone, says Tanker. <laughs> <laughs> well, none of these players have taken the attack outpost. It wasn't even needed. So Miko's not grabbing the gem patch just yet. It's too cool for gems. There you go. Yeah, there it goes. And uh, Sanchez already depleted his gems. He's gonna move his MCV now. He's gonna come back over to the left. Five, eight rhinos for HC kid. And he's gonna split on the right side here, MJ. Top right. I don't think Miko sees it. Okay, he moves oh, his no, miners oh, away. Yes. There goes, yeah. I'll tell you what, if Sander can keep up the pressure on the right hand side here, he can deny a lot of gold from Mikos. Oh, Mikos is going to take the cliff or the bridge. Ooh, gets, gets a few free shots, up. yeah. Third War Factory for Mikos. Uh, it's CK on two. Oh, there's a barrel there as well. <laughs> if you're unlucky. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, this is a map where I'm a little bit confused. Hey, there's not much space for Tango Troll, especially all Miko Sold. Yep. Miko Sold? Shocker. Every time, every time <laughs> I see an engineer walking, I'm like, oh, it's definitely a cell somewhere. Yeah. Okay, Miko's pushing in as well. Sanders Sold, so? Sanders Sold as well, yeah. Yeah, again, this is sort of deja vu here. Miko's taking the high ground and then standing on the lower ground. He has to be careful once again. Can't let it. Can't let this tank to just die down there. Where is Miko's going? Okay, he's gonna go bottom right. He has a split at top right, uh, top left. He's gonna get a miner oh, there. Miner. Miner goes down. So he distracted Sander enough to lose a miner there. Yeah. Oh no, Sander could have taken the high ground there on the middle. Just not to. Now Sander can go in for a split of his own. He's gonna split top left. Meanwhile, Mikos is knocking on his door. We're smack down in the middle. Ooh, huge fight here. It's all about it. Sander does have the fight, but the Connie's are going to fight. But I think Sander's gonna win that fight anyway here. Sander's gonna win this fight at mid. And he's splitting he's as well. the miners, yeah. Oh, that's bad for Mikos. GG call from Mikos, and we're all tied up again. Oof. Finally, another second a match of two points each. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Are you ready? Let's get ready to rumble! Here we go, boys. We're back. Match points. I'm sorry, MJ. What did you say about your working schedule? Uh, yeah, I, I used to work like five days in two weeks. And then now I'm working back to five days in a week all ah, right yeah, to yeah. take one week on a week off and then i've been so miserable afterwards oh shit now i'm working five six days a week almost mm -hmm. i took this weekend off to be able to stream with you guys so monster steve with the biddies thanks a lot bro vip now we have uh let's see i have today off tomorrow and monday so I'm back nice. at work on Tuesday. And a friend of mine just offered me a job that pays more than I make right now, which is Hello. really crazy, so. <laughs> Same title? No, it's totally different. It's in IT. I have a background in IT, but I went yeah, into hospitality. Hotel manager now, right? Or something? Yeah, yeah. So it's really different, and they said, "Yeah, they come over to us." And I said, "What's the what's the salary?" They said, "Yeah, well, it's it's a it's a little bit more than what I make now, with a, <laughs> with, with a lot less responsibility." So I'm really thinking about making a change. But Ooh. I've been working 13 years in the hotel business, so it's really difficult for me to leave it. You know, mm -hmm. but sometimes you need to change the money, boys. Dude, I would. I go for it, man. It's yeah. something different, and it's IT as well. Yeah, you know, a lot of streaming. <laughs> I mean, um, the corona, uh, the corona pandemic, bro. I've never seen the hotel business in such a turmoil, bro. So that's really something that uh, mm -hmm. scared me as well. One miner gets drawn from Mikos on the left there. Sorry, back to the game, boys. <laughs> <laughs> so this build from Sander. HC Kid is the yellow player on the right, and we have Palacio Mikos on the left. I would and expect to forward War Factory from both of them. I understand Mikos is built with the War Factory near the gems, but Sander built his close to the all patch, so he has one more each on the gem patches. Right. So a little bit of a slow eco. Pretty really even, nose, right? Man. I mean, Mikos is up one minor, I believe. Yeah, Sander is on four minors. Mikos is on five. We should see a second war factory from Mikos shortly here. Mm -hmm. And I, I expect him to go mid. 
Yeah, Sander's choosing not to go mid as well. Usually the left side of player goes mid first. Oh, okay, the well, second war goes by MCV. Next to the MCV, I, I don't understand. I, I would expect him to go mid. But yeah. anyways, power drop from be... ACK at top left. It's not going to get much done, though. He might be giving mid up to Sander. Well, Sander takes but... away his uh, airport at top left there. And Sander is on three war factories, stretching somewhat to the mid through the top there. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure about this build by me because I mean he's third war factory and also in base he's not contesting mid at all. Yeah. He's gonna that fall That's the thing that I'm kinda worried about here. He's gonna like fall Ludo behind in the eco, bro. Yeah. Yeah, like like Ludo said he loves his medium AI builds and he made some of it with uh some pretty good tank control. But not going mid here might be a mistake from him. Four Sander. factories. He yeah. might go over fifth and then sell. Or four factory. I don't know. Sandra uh, has secured mid. He's at, he has uh, desolators out as well. He's gonna take mid, and that's I believe that's game over then, boys. Yeah, that's free control of it as well. And Sandra is stacking up. Not going for a fourth war factory, but the battle lab is out. <coughs> So maybe a clear off and then uh, push with the tanks. Yeah, and fifth war factory out for me because now he's going on broke. Insufficient funds every single time. Mikos is broke. He is on five war factory. He didn't sell yet. Maybe, maybe he wants. It. He needs to put an ore ref there next to the war factory uh, near near the oil. I think. Oh yeah. True. That is what he's gonna go for, and then he's gonna sell. I think. No, he still keeps his MCV, boys. Five more factories. The I see. I see. Where's the Kira? I'd love to see a Kira here. And Miko sells. Sell. Yep. Oh, he brings in two miners as well. To deal with the Dessos, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, th this is where we get to see Miko's in, in full tank control action here. He will have the eco boost and he will have. Quite a number of rhinos here, but it depends on the situation. Sander could take a trade right now. I just split a couple of rhinos away because he is overpowering Mikos in tanks. So he has to be careful. He can't just approach right now with half of his rhinos in the back. That's not a good idea. He's going to go low power as well from the nuclear reactor going down. So I see delayed once again. But Sander does have the rhino number advantage here. MTV gets sold slash destroyed. He has to use his fodder now. Absolutely has to, and he goes right up on the top. And the half of Mikos' tanks are just getting caught by Sander. And, and now Sander needs to make a run for his base, bro. Yeah, he. Does. He has no miners left, so this this sheet this should be uh, the all-in push for uh, HC kid right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mikos clearly came with a plan there. You know, five off actually sell and then go for the miners and then. That put uh, that put Sander in a situation where he needs to push as well. He, I think, I think he to he he has five k. He can rebuild a couple of miners here. But realistically, I think he has to push now. He has about almost twice the number of rhinos and really good fodder as well. Minor fodder going in. Mikos hiding behind his fodder and his sentry guns. Sander making his way towards the middle and it's gonna split as well. Might see a base raid here. Miko's gonna commit all of his rhinos back to defend. Where is HT good going with those tanks? I have no idea, bro. Why did he why did he send those top right? Miko's can know. hold and Miko's will win, boys. What? Mm. Sander, Sander split, the other split going up to top right for onto another map, I guess, and then the main force just goes into a corner and then gets shot down by Mikos. He sent I more than six confused. tanks top right for no apparent reason. The mother of all throws. I, I agree, bro. I am I am really confused here. Yeah. You know the pressure gets to you sometimes. You see things that they that aren't even there maybe. 
Yep, but I absolutely I, understand where he's coming from as well because when I play a, a big show match and I get nervous as well, and my hands start shaking and everything. So I definitely understand the pressure here. But this is this this is a big yikes from me, dude. Mika still in HC's base. He's gonna retreat as well. He has more than enough at home to deal with this, I believe. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna take care of these buildings one by one. Maybe one yeah. final battle here in the mid. And Sanders broke to make any more drones to defend. There you go, lots of warfighters are gonna get hit. Oh man, Sander. I, I'm so baffled. I can't. I can't really explain what I'm. What I'm seeing, or is this? Is this a throw from Sander? Really? Monster Steve saying he got outplayed. I'm not sure. I think mistakes were made as well. It's it's one thing to be outplayed, but it's a second thing to just sort of throw your tanks away into one corner and you know, push yourself into a corner there. Yeah. Oh boy, that heart is full as well. Oh boy. GG's called. And Miko takes it 3-2. Damn, this is annoying. <laughs> Says Sander. Oh no. You're welcome, Balf. Always, bro. If we got the players, we got the, we got the stream boys. So Mika's taking it three two. Quit quits out immediately. <laughs>